over the years we've talked about some maintenance that you can do yourself on your boat. It takes a little bit of work. If you don't know what you're doing, it takes a little bit of time, but it'll save you a few bucks. And we've talked about everything from oil changes to filter changes to spark plug and ignition wiring changes, even changing the distributor assembly on this portside engine of mine. We haven't talked about on the show in years though is corrosion. In terms of corrosion within the engine, that's not something you can visually inspect, but you can do some preventative maintenance, like using Mercury Quick Care. Now, this should be used at every fill-up, and it helps prevent corrosion and varnish buildup. And I know when you hear use at every fill-up, you're probably thinking the same thing you think when your dentist says floss every day, and you're not gonna do that. Well, the more you do it, the better it is. Also, floss but there's also Mercury Quick Clean. Now, this isn't to be used at every fill-up. You should use it at least once a season. Now, this is to remove carbon deposits from everything from carburetors to your injectors, cylinder heads, basically everywhere the fuel goes, this will be going and clear that all out. And in terms of what you can visually inspect, exhaust is a pretty obvious one. So that's what we're gonna do this week. We're gonna show you what you can look for and if you need to replace something, what to replace because, spoiler alert, one of my exhaust elbows is pretty nasty. So start by loosening the hose clamps. In theory, you could just take this one section of hose off, but from my experience, that is frustrating. So instead of removing these clamps here, we're gonna move all the way down, and then we're gonna remove these two right here that connect into the muffler, but then take this L-shaped section off. You can see this is like badly corroded. Let me get a piece off this even. That shouldn't be possible. In fact, there was a couple pieces that fell off as we took the hose off. So before we actually remove the exhaust elbow and go about replacing it, what we're gonna do is drain the coolant from the manifold here. And even though there's no coolant in the elbow itself, there's coolant going into the riser and we're gonna be replacing the gaskets in between them as well. So there'll be coolant on the bottom side on the gasket. So how do we get this bad? Well, see this hose right here? This is raw water coming in from the lake, and that goes right in to the exhaust elbow. The water comes around, mixes with the hot exhaust coming from that big hole in the middle in this tube to cool it down because the exhaust is so hot, it would melt it. You can actually see right here, premium marine wet exhaust hose. Hundreds of hours of having fun on the boat means hundreds of hours of steam and moisture and wetness and condensation eating away at this over time. No big deal though, we can change it. And to give you an example of how bad this is, we took the hose off the same exhaust elbow on the other engine. It is in very good shape, which leads me to believe this one was actually changed right before we bought it. We got the raw water hose off, we got the exhaust hose off, and we've got the electronic module box off. And we sprayed all four of the bolts here with WD-40 because given how much corrosion is here, this probably has been here for quite a while because we do not want to break these bolts off. The beauty of this design is you can see if there's any movement. So along with the feel, you have that visual. There's all that gunk. So the riser looks in good shape. The metal gasket in between is in good shape. Then we'll put another one of these softer ones on top. New elbow. Same deal with the screws. It's one, two, three, four. This red stuff down here. That acts as a, a way to sort of lock the bolt in place, but also keeps it from seizing when you have to remove it. It's like teenage years all over again. Awkwardness is key. Teflon tape on there to make sure the seal's hunky-dory. Now we'll put this back on. from the raw water, nice and cool on top, meaning we're getting the water through. No drips on the exhaust. Job done.